the Joe Rogan experience. I mean, I say this all the time because the uh, percentage. Two of my faves, Bill Maher, Joseph Robinette Rogan, talking about cancel culture, my favorite. It's awesome. ...of graft keeps getting higher and higher. Now, we found out recently that something like, oh, I'm going to get the number wrong. Maybe you can look it up on your magic light box. But like 20%, I think, of the uh, unemployment checks we passed out during COVID were complete fraud. A mere pittance. <laughs> 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 the uh, PPP. Yeah, oh my God. Well, so many the, people got arrested the, for having Lamborghinis and shit. Right. I mean, J.K. <laughs> Rowling got money. No, she her, didn't. Yeah, for her Broadway show. What? Because if she didn't, she'd be living in her car, Joe. Ah, she got money <laughs> from that? That's hilarious. Everybody got money. That Tom Brady got... so crazy. And, like, when you look at some of the percent... And, like, the number for... I got money. But only because... You know what's really funny about this, actually? I got money because they looked at my 2019 tax returns and they were like, oh, you, you make the cut. That's not a finesse, you dumb bitches. It's because in a lot of you think like, just because I'm 30 now that I was always 30. And a lot of you also simultaneously think just because I'm fucking racked up now, that I was always racked up. And that's the stimulus, not the PPP. I never did the PPP shit. I didn't do the slimy fucking PPP shit. For, uh, to build a house for the homeless in L.A. has risen to $837,000. A mere pittance. Bill Maher. <laughs> a mere pittance from these greedy so, billionaires so, out there. We need to tax I'm, them all. If I'm complaining about that, again, to your point about a Republican idea. Wait, but that's like nothing. Low key. Fuck all the business uh, owners. The people was good if you did it right. You were meant to use it to pay your workers to keep them on staff. Yeah. Most people didn't. Fuck those guys. Arrest them. That's awesome. Please. Okay, so that's one. And two, like as far as uh, the, the mass fucking, uh, the, the stimulus checks that went out. Okay, when the, as far as the stimulus checks that go out, like I don't even give a fuck that like random people got stimulus checks, random people got stimmies if we're talking about like on accident. Because ultimately it was literally life or death for so many other people. We eradicated extreme poverty, dude. In America, like completely, not even a little bit, eradicated it, okay? When the stimmies came out. It was fucking awesome. It was glorious. It was a moment of like, a brief moment of solitude and otherwise just a sea of shit. So the idea that like, oh, 20% of them were fraudulent or whatever, shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up, you're wrong. I'm wrong. Means test actually. Shut the fuck up. You're wrong. God, I hate, I hate you. I hate you. Means test, it cucks. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. No, it was good. Universal spending programs are really fucking good. It doesn't matter. That's the best possible way to reach the most, the largest fucking group of people po uh, that you can actually reach, okay? A couple of rich guys got $1,000. Who gives a fuck? Shut the fuck up. The people that deserved it and needed it desperately actually got it. So that's what's important. Plus, you can means test on the back end. You know, depending on what their 2020 tax returns are, you can actually means test and say, hey, seems like you made a lot of money. We're going to take some of that money back in the form of taxes. Shut up. Also, what did I always say? At the time when they were talking about fucking, um, at the time when they were talking about like the, the stimmy checks, like people in the chat would be like, oh, son, I don't need it. Like, I was like, shut the fuck up, dumbass. Take the money. Shut up. Take the goddamn money, dumbass. You think a billionaire ever asked the government like, oh man, do I need this money? No, no. They literally write legislation to be like, no, give me all the money. The one time the government's giving you money back in the form of like tax credits, basically. 
And you're like, oh, I don't want it. Because you have fucking peasant brain, okay? You literally, it's just like, you've been brain broken. You literally have like, I can't believe I'm doing the fucking rich dad, poor dad shit. But you have like actual fucking peasant brain. You literally are just like, no, sir, I don't want your monies. I'll work hard for it, master. Don't you worry about a thing, yeah? You keep all the monies. You know how to do it. You're a productive forces. You're a part of the productive forces, sir. That's what you sound like. They're handing out endless free money while being 33 trillion in debt. Does that sound good to you? By the way, who's going to pay it off, bud? First of all, like, what the fuck are you talking about? The trillions of dollars and the endless giving, uh, the endless money cannon were pumped directly into the stock market, bud, okay? The, the fraction of which that went to the fucking humans that we're actually talking about, the workers that actually talk about, like, if that's what you're upset about, then you're not upset about the fucking debt at all. Because no one is upset about the debt. That is literally just a fucking Republican talking point. No one cares about the debt. If that was the case, you would have fucking abolished the American military, okay? Shut the fuck up, bitch. You're gonna pay it, bud. Sovereign debt isn't regular debt. Yeah, well, good thing it doesn't matter because most of that debt is still owned by fucking Americans, okay? And not like China or whatever the fuck people think. People would say, oh, you're complaining about government spending money. And my answer is, okay, but is there any number at which point I am not tipped over into the Republican side right. that I can't complain about money that is just being stolen? Right. I mean, we. I, oh, I totally, <laughs> as a good liberal, I totally accept the notion that, as someone once said, you cannot transfer money except with a leaky bucket. I get it. It can't be perfect. But is it twenty percent? But is there, is there no number <laughs> for which I cannot remonstrate against right. this? Twenty percent is a low. That I mean, it, it's even higher than that. That was only. Is he conflating um, people that didn't, uh, people that should not have gotten uh, fucking stimmy checks with uh, the PPP loan fraud that people engaged in, or is he just talking about the PPP uh, loan fraud? Because if he's talking about PPP loans, like. And he's talking about small businesses. Give me when he's going back to the government anyway. No one gives a shit. This is Fordism 101. Um, not stimmy unemployment. Oh, he's oh my god. This fucking absolute monster is not talking about fucking unemployment, the additional unemployment. No. No. No fucking way, dude. That is some fucking ghoulish bullshit. There's three separate things that we're talking about. Unemployment insurance, which is additional unemployment security that was given to people throughout COVID because they lost their jobs, hassle, not on hassle, their own hassle, accord, hassle, hassle. but Chance, because of COVID. There was also the uh, STIMI, which every single take. person got. We should all be okay, a STIMI that every single person got unconditionally. And then there were PPP loans that the government gave to small businesses and businesses alike, okay? Specifically so that uh, those loans with, like, no interest rates, those zero interest rate loans would help companies keep workers on under their employ, okay? Because they didn't want to fire people. Now, what this fucking dickhead is doing is, I guess, Martin Bailey taking uh taking a, a an actual fucking instance of fraud and applying it to the other parts of the 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 stimulus checks and the unemployment insurance that was actually good and very good uh, mind you like really fucking good and really helpful one of the few instances where the american government actually did something positive he is conflating these things because if he were to just talk about the small businesses then you know Shitting on his buddies. Only the unemployment checks. The PPP stuff was even higher. That's where the it's and, beautiful and brilliant because they attach it to something that's like, look, we, we need to help these people. We need to help these people. 
these people are all losing their jobs and their, their businesses are shut down. We need to provide them with money. Right. And then the grift. The, the, the grift. The, some of it gets just, it's like, yes. let's I mean, promote, and whoever's doing it. California tried to build a railroad. They wanted to build a rail line between L.A. and San Francisco. Made sense. It's a big, long state and cars and blah, blah, good for the environment. And it was when they finally pulled the plug. Blah, blah. Good for the environment. Dude. I will not have you tarnish. The sanctity of trains. You motherfucker. You, this, is, this is my red line. Okay. Fucking piece of shit. You old ghoul. Blah, blah. Good for the environment. They're great. Okay. They're fucking great. And guess what? I bet your dumbass doesn't like traffic congestion on the PCH when you're trying to fucking come from your seven gorillion dollar mansion in Malibu down to wherever the fuck uh, HBO studios are. Okay. Perhaps some of that congestion could be alleviated if we had public transit. That's adequate. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Mm. Double fuck you, dude. Okay, sorry. Let's keep going. Because it just became too uh, uh, ridiculous. It was at $200 million a Lovely mile. King now, France, <laughs> France built uh, France, a country not unknown to uh, have unions and workers' rights. Very big over there in Europe, right? Workers' rights, unions. I mean, they're always on strike. Uh, always on strike in Europe. And they talk with their hands. Okay. So... France, again, a very unionized country, did it for like one seventh. That's how bad. One seventh? Yeah, something like that. Okay, he's, never mind. He wasn't just shitting on. He's right. He's right. France is incredibly unionized. France's labor force has a major union. France's unionization labor participation rate is super high. Well, not that high, but their collective bargaining agreements over uh, over encompass ninety eight percent of the workforce. So he's right about that. Um, while their labor participation, um, where their labor participation in direct unions is low, their collective bargaining agreements literally are damn near the entire, like damn near one hundred percent of the workforce. It's true. Um, so. Remember that. Was, right. But I mean, two hundred million dollars a mile, and it was only to finally it was only to connect like Bakersfield to, to I don't know, uh, Pacoima or something, and they couldn't even do that. Of two rich guys talking about a capitalist government failing, like while simultaneously firmly holding their their preconceived ideas that like capitalism is fucking tight. Like, you literally mentioned France, a nation with, like, a fuckload better labor protection. Protections were able to put together fucking uh, rails way more efficiently than the United States of America. Like, how are you going to sit here and, yo, this is the same phenomena that so many of these fucking weirdos get together. Uh, yo, by the way, it's not capitalism, it's a government project. Yeah, totally. Famously, government projects are like Raytheon, for example. That's a government project, so it's not capitalism. <laughs> like Boeing's entire revenue comes almost directly from the American government. You're gonna sit there and tell me that that's not a fucking private company? That's a mega corporation. That's that's capitalist. <laughs> yeah, no, totally, dude. That's uh, um, actually, that's not capitalism. Yeah, Tesla. Famously, famously, Elon Musk is a capitalist who's brilliant, uh, beautiful, bold, whatever. Uh, but also, his his entire con company is run by government subsidies for the most part. So that's you know that's not. He's actually a communist, I guess. Listen, listen. We in the civilized Western world would never be subject to bribes we would never ever uh have a situation in which we're like bribes 
uh, and, and corruption occurs in these massive projects that require government spending. That would never happen. That's like, what are we, that's Pakistan. You know, they, they do bribes there. They're, they're uncivilized. We are civilized. We've codified our bribery yes. in the form of lobbying, which is precisely why when we have incredible government spending on projects that go to these like dumbass companies that have no fucking, no, uh, no interest in like genuinely designing anything. Uh, we do that through through lobbying. So that's that's different. It's um that's totally the, the what civilized people do. Not it's not law. It's not bribery. It's something different because it's legal. Anyway, the you know when I hear about build back better, um, okay, look, certainly the country needs to get rebuilt i mean the infrastructure is a mess yeah but i'm thinking always like when you give me a number it's like it just seems like you pulled it out of your ass you know it's going to cost 1.5 billion we know that for it, 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 and it i love this i love this i love this so much he literally fucking nailed ppp abusers okay and in the same vein is talking about Capitalist mega corporations that use the government like a fucking teat to suckle on with no genuine interest in like ever completing projects whatsoever. We in America are such goddamn cucks that we have completely forgotten what governments are supposed to do. So what do we believe in? We believe that like, yeah, no, it is a it is basically a money faucet and you should suck as much of that money as you can from that money faucet. Like, that's the entire purpose. That's the entire point. That's the entire purpose of this, uh, this project. We don't even think about fucking getting mad at the people who are doing the sucking. That's wild. It came in right at that <laughs> round number, huh? Yeah. To I'm rebuild this or something. And, and uh, are we going over this with a fine tooth? Are, there, are we really seeing that it... What if we only spent it one... It sounds like you're on the same side. What? Stop, 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 stop. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Just time out and move on. Never, ever respond to anyone. Oh, you fucking idiot. So stupid, Asan. Okay. Point two billion. Uh, or trillion, I'm, I'm undercounting it. Uh, what if we only spent 1.2 trillion? Uh, what would we be sacrificing? Anything? Where? Because so much of that money is going to consultants, yeah, and just sub siphoned off by all the <laughs> pigs at the trough, all snorting this shit up with their big. I mean, he's right. Snouts. Yeah, and there's very few people that are saying that. But right. that's that's exactly that's, what's what. No, what are you talking about? That's not. Everyone is saying that. Like, the entirety of the fucking socialist left is saying that. These are capitalist corporations that are utilizing public, fu public funds specifically for their own personal benefit. I hate, I hate when it's like, oh, man. No one is saying these brave and bold takes. It's like, yeah, motherfucker, because you don't listen to anyone else.